Hi there. I'm Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net, and thank you for joining us for an introduction to currency options. The foreign exchange market is one of the largest and most liquid markets in the world, trading 24 hours a day except for weekends. The Bank of International Settlements estimated in their 2007 survey an average daily turnover in the global foreign exchange market of $3.2 trillion. It is usually driven by macroeconomic factors and international monetary flow. It is important for investors to understand the quotation conventions on the foreign exchange market. The way currencies are quoted against each other can initially seem a little confusing. Most foreign exchange rate quotes are expressed as units per U.S. dollar. For example, the U.S. dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate refers to the number of Canadian dollars equal to one U.S. dollar. In other words, the exchange rate represents the value of one U.S. dollar in Canadian dollars. In this example, the U.S. dollar is said to be the base currency against which the Canadian dollar is quoted. It is also important to note that all foreign exchange rate quote denominations are backward with the base currency stated first. Options are also available on currencies. A currency option is priced on a pair value which reflects the exchange rate between two currencies. In Canada, USX options trading on the Montreal exchange reflect the US dollar strength or weakness in relation to the Canadian dollar. The value reflects how much one US dollar is worth in Canadian dollars. The US dollar is therefore considered the base currency and the Canadian dollar is referred to as the quoted currency. Each USX option contract has as its underlying 10,000 US dollars. With that being said, an investor who holds one USX contract has the right to buy if the option is a call or sell if the option is a put 10,000 US dollars. When looking at USX options, the exchange rate is expressed in cents. For example, with the spot market currency quote reflecting a pair value of 1.0609, the USX will be indicated in cents per units of foreign currency. In this example, 100 US cents are equal to 106.09 Canadian cents. Strike prices are reflected in the same way. Currency options can be used to trade a directional view on the underlying pair value by purchasing call options or put options, shorting or selling call options or put options, or by implementing a strategy that combines a call and a put, such as a straddle or strangle. Currency options can also be used for hedging purposes. For investors, currency options can be used to protect the value of a portfolio invested in U.S. securities. Keeping a hedging strategy in mind, Currency options can also help importers and exporters who wish to hedge business cash flow. USX options have the same trading parameters as equity options. Call and put options are both available for trading and contracts with different strike prices and expiration months are offered for each option type. The investor's selection will depend on their objectives. It is also important to highlight that the pricing variables for the USX options are the same as the ones used for equity options. As previously mentioned, USX options include both types of options, calls and puts. The option type will be selected based on the investor's objective. For example, an investor who expects the US dollar is going to strengthen against the Canadian dollar would buy a call. On the other hand, the investor who predicts that the US dollar is going to weaken against the Canadian dollar would buy a put option. The intervals between each strike price represent half a penny. The table reflects option premiums at different strike prices with one month until expiration and the current US dollar Canadian dollar rate is at 105. Note that to determine the cost of each contract the premium is multiplied by 100. As previously mentioned, a large choice of expiry dates are available and gives investors the opportunity to capitalize on both short-term and long-term views. Usually, the nearest three months will be listed and the next two months in the designated quarterly cycle. For example, assuming it is currently March 1st, the listed months would be March, April, May, June, and September. USX options will also be influenced by the same pricing variables as equity options. The value of the underlying, the strike price, the time remaining to expiration, volatility, and the risk-free rate of interest. To review how these variables individually impact the option prices, 
I would invite you to access the options pricing video available in the Montreal Exchange video library. To determine the cost of each option contract, the listed premium is multiplied by 10,000 times one Canadian dollar divided by 100 Canadian cents, which results in a multiplier of 100. In this example, the premium is listed at 2.45. Therefore, by multiplying the premium by 100, we determine the option contract will cost $245. It should be noted that some brokers may express the premium as 0 .0245 as opposed to 2.45. In this case, the investor must multiply the premium by 10,000 to obtain the cost of one option contract. An important difference between USX options and equity options is that USX options have a European style exercise. This means that although USX option positions can be bought and sold at any time prior to expiration, investors can only exercise their rights to buy or sell on expiration. Note that USX options are cash settled in Canadian dollars. Therefore, should the position be profitable at expiration, the investor's trading account will be credited in Canadian dollars. It is important to note that the settlement price is based on the Bank of Canada US dollar versus the Canadian dollar noon rate on the third Friday of the expiration month. If the option does not have intrinsic value on expiration, it will expire worthless. To determine the settlement value of an in-the-money call option on expiration, the investor would subtract the call strike price from the US dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate expressed in cents. For example, with the US dollar Canadian dollar rate at 110 at noon on the expiration Friday and a call option strike price of 105, the investor would subtract the 105 strike from the 110 US dollar Canadian dollar rate to arrive at an intrinsic value of 5 points. The settlement value is then multiplied by the standardized point value of $100. 5 points times $100 equals a settlement value of $500 per contract. The USX call holder receives a credit to their account of $500 Canadian dollars per contract and the USX call writer's trading account will be debited by the same amount. Unlike equity options, USX call holders who do not close the position before expiration will not buy the underlying. The position is cash settled in Canadian dollars. To determine the settlement value of the in the money USX put option on expiration, the investor must subtract the US dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate expressed in cents from the put strike price. For example, with a put strike of 105 and the US dollar Canadian dollar rate at 101, the USX put option would have an intrinsic value of 4 points. To determine the actual settlement value in Canadian dollars, the investor multiplies the 4 points times $100 to arrive at $400. The USX put option holder will receive a credit of 400 Canadian dollars per contract and consequently the USX put option writer's trading account would be debited by the same amount. Unlike equity options, USX put holders who do not close the position before expiration will not sell the underlying or assume a short position. The position is simply cash settled in Canadian dollars.